It's been a while since I've shown anything in real life. Sorry about the shaky camera. I'm a little tired right now. Anyways, this is the current setup. I swapped over to a uh, smaller case. If I just wanted something smaller. I don't need that much room. Um, I also wanted more room on my desk for things like this. I have the Noctua NHU-14S, the award-winning NHU series 140mm cooler. Let's open this box! As soon as you open the box, you're greeted with more boxes. Let's see if I can get this out. This is thermal paste, the tool that you're going to need, the clips, the, the uh, lower RPM cable, and I can't see it through the camera. Oh, the little uh, rubber connectors, or uh, corners for their uh, patented silent fan corner thingies. Here's your uh, Intel mounting system. It's going to do all your basic Intels. Um, Noxua is really good at upgrading later. If you have a new socket, they will make you a thing and give it to you. I think it's more of a proof of purchase thing, but I'm pretty sure if you ask them, they will send you one. First thing we're greeted with is this big-ass fan. Anyways, there's my smallest fan. I love this NZXT lighting kit when it actually works. The cat is scraping the wall with her paw, if you can hear that. I love you, cat, but you are annoying. You don't get to be on this channel. I'm going to cut the rest of this out. 100% recyclable cardboard box, which is kind of cool. Linus pointed that out. I think I'll do it, too. Recyclable. Anyways, damn, that is, uh, that is shiny. Anyways, I know a lot of people want to see it. I don't really know why, but a lot of people want to see the reflectiveness of the thing. Eh. Oh god, you can see me. Gross. It's not the most reflective thing in the world, but it doesn't need to be. It's actually, uh, I think it's convexed or concave. Convexed. A little bit. It's like a little U-shape that pushes down. Anyways, this is a beefy guy. I like it. Um, it's the not budget friendly version of basically just buying a uh, 212 Evo. Let's set this bad boy down. Good God, that's heavy. Please. Anyways, I'm going to sit down too so we can look at this thing together. It's a big, it's a big cooler. It's mighty cool. Uh, anyways, there you got your fan. Stands 165 millimeters tall with the fan. Um, this case, the 400C can Support up to 170. Um, I'm gonna. Ooh. I'm going to put it in this. And ooh, they sent it to me and it's uneven from factory. I am going to call tech support. Not really. Um, the fan attachments are these little clips. You just uh, pull back on this guy and it'll pop forward. And then you just unblur the camera. And those little guys just kind of out. See that? It's just, just on there. Damn, this is nice looking. This isn't bad for a fucking camera on a phone. Anyways, guys, I'm going to try to put this thing on. So, in the long box that I said you get a couple of things in, you get a couple of things that I didn't know about. You get a Noxua case badge. You get your little long screwdriver. I mean, if you're a man, you should have a regular screwdriver. Or a woman, you know, whatever. Your rubber corners for a new fan. Rubber adhesive things with uh, 3M tape, double-sided, not double-sided, rubber on one side, sticky on the other. If you don't want to buy another weird 140mm fan with 120mm mounting points, that's something I didn't point out, by the way. 120mm mounting point, 140mm fan. Isn't that just fancy as fuck? Oh my god, Becky, look at that butt. So, the Noxua NHU-14S is in my computer. I am idling right now. Um, it's a little high, but that's only because I have some editing stuff going on in the bottom there. Uh, I recorded this already. 
but uh, it disappeared so it's time to do it again my minimum got down to uh, one degree above ambient temperature when I recorded this last night which was 23 degrees was the cooler temperature on the coldest core the hottest core was 25 last night um, I can go ahead and do the uh, the Ida 64 for you guys there's a cat on my desk and I will go from there and show you guys the temperature ability of this cooler so I'm going to go ahead and start it up and hope it does not crash because I already have most of this video edited so I'm a little upset about that um, let's go ahead and go here uh, I'll just let it run for a minute or two so you guys can see where it goes here's real temp on the side you might hear my fans start kicking up the coolers fan is on high at all times um, it's a big fan so it's pretty damn quiet um, I'll just go from here the cooler did not reach over 61 degrees last night when I did it but the ambient temperature in the room was a bit lower so we'll see where it gets in about a minute here this is the part where I'll hit fast forward okay you guys you get a general idea of where it's gonna go um, like I said last night I left it for quite a bit longer um, and it's not bad right now so that'll give you a general idea of 100% load with a 4790k overclock to 4.7 and my voltage is what, what was it it was 1.250 yeah 1.250 for the voltage um, that's about where it's at for that whole thing so that's where I ended up that's where I'm at and I hope you guys enjoyed this it I'm sorry this last part is so shitty like I said I had it recorded I had it better but it decided to be a dick hole and not record so have a good one guys see you later bye